Thanks for joining us today on Rubber All Access. Why don't you first off start by uh, describing for our viewers some of your most memorable moments from the trip? Can you go first? No, you can start. Okay. Um, I'd have to say that when we got to meet the team and just get to know all of them and where they live and just their day-to-day -day lives, it's a lot different than what we are used to. So. How is it different, kind of? Uh, you saw out there that were different than what you experienced here in the United States. Well, there's, like, the ladies range from 45 down to 15, the team, and, like, there's kids our age that all had, like, babies, and it was just, like, and one lady said she didn't have hot water. It was just a completely different world. I would say it was when we played the junior men's national team just because we don't get to do that here and they're a lot faster and stronger. So that was an interesting. Is there any play that stands out particularly during that game for you? The that kind of simplified what you're talking about? Uh, the first to the game, actually, the guy hit it back to Amber, and by the time that she turned to throw, he had almost beat out the play. All right, so uh, talking about that a little bit, uh, why don't you kind of talk about the differences in the competition playing in the United States, you know, versus college teams versus playing the international teams, where you talk about how there's different age levels and everything like that, but also how the style of play is a little bit different, not just with the junior men's national team, but also the women's team, and maybe different styles of play you saw between the United States game and the international game. Ours is more fast-paced. They do take their time between innings, and I think we kind of realized that because the games were taking longer than normal. And with the warm-up, we'd get there at... Like five fifteen for a seven o'clock game. Six thirty seven o'clock game. And they would start. They'd show up like maybe thirty minutes before, and then they just start tossing the ball around. It was just really relaxed, and I mean they had a like a great passion for the game, but it was just a lot slower paced. So everything you did is kind of more regimented to get ready right. for the game. Yeah. Whereas they kind of just showed up yeah. right or wrong. Okay. All right, so uh, kind of describe for us what was it like going from, I mean, you know, when you left, going to Maryland, it was pretty cold, four, low 40s, upper 30s when you left, and then you went to basically a tropical paradise, I believe, where it's 80 degrees, ocean all around you. What was that experience like, just going from such extremes there? It was awesome. It was wonderful. <laughs> we were all hot when we got off the plane because we were still in our long warm-ups with our jackets and our pants, and we changed real fast. Yeah. It was nice being able to go to the field and, like, have our shorts and t-shirts on, and here we have to practice in Horton, so. Well, what was it like? I mean, you, you hadn't played outside for a while, and then you go down there, and you're right back on the field there. Is that kind of an exciting experience to actually play on real grass and dirt instead of just practicing inside of Horton? Yeah, it took a little while to get adjusted to the field because it was a little different than ours, but it was still nice being outside. Uh, the team is overall went 8-0 in competition, um, playing against Tell Media, which is the national softball champion, Belize, the Belize women's national team, and the Belize junior men's national team. Um, what does it mean to you and to your teammates to perform so well against international competition as you prepare for your upcoming college season? I think it's a confidence booster for the team as a whole to be able to go overseas and be able to play that well, and then I think we're just going to carry it into the regular season in the spring. Okay. What's something maybe you took from the trip itself, a learning experience like that you think you take to your upcoming season? I, just from there, like I said, their passion for the game, it gave me a whole new, like, it just like lit a fire again for me, so it's, I don't know. Abby, do you have anything? Uh, probably the same, because uh, to see somebody love the game after that long is a unique experience to me. Uh, both of you during the, uh, during the trip had some pretty strong hitting performances uh, in the games. Uh, you, Abby, had a home run during the 9 nothing route of the Belize national team November 25th, and then Jesse, you had a double two RBI in the November 26th, uh, 6 nothing victory. Did it take either of you any time to adjust against, you know, playing in a different country or also facing international competition, or was it just right away you were ready to go? Well, I think the biggest adjustment was just seeing live pitching again. Because when you're in Horton, there's not a lot of space. So we hit off the machine and off the front toss and things like that. So I think the biggest adjustment was just to see live pitching again. And the 